All right, uh, happy Saturday afternoon, and I don't know if you're inside. It is kind of hot out, so you might be sitting around a computer. If you're watching this, clearly you are. Uh, if you're not following 50 Cent on Twitter, you might want to do that, because I think he's uh, lost his effing mind, because um, he's straight up ridiculous. I don't even know what he's talking about. He's friends with Floyd Mayweather num one minute. He's yelling at Ocho Cinco the next. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. Go check him out, uh, just at 50 Cent. He was suspended for a while for posting crazy pornographic photos, but now he's back and he's in apparently full effect. Tonight is UFC 118. I am late with my picks, but I want to get them done, so uh, let's do them. Main event is BJ Penn and Frankie Edgar. I look for BJ to win this rematch of the century and then look for the rubber match. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen in the rubber match, but I think step one is BJ winning and getting his belt back tonight. In the co-main event, Tony and Couture. Tony weighed in at 237 pounds, 20 pounds heavier than his last fight less than a year ago. The dude is fat. And showing up fat and out of shape to fight Randy Couture is really never a good idea. Just ask Butterbean or Tank Abbott. Did he fight either of those guys? I don't, I don't actually know, but he would have kicked their ass, just like he's going to kick Tony's ass in round number one. I would love for it to be a triangle, since that seems to be the move du jour of 2010, but let's just say rear naked choke, because I know he likes that. And really, who doesn't? Uh, you got Gray Maynard and Kenny Florian. I'm going to pick Kenny in a very, very brutal, grueling bout. Gray is a very big guy at 155, and he does wrestle extremely well. He's able to uh, set the tempo, and if he, he's going to be able to do that tonight, it's going to be very hard for Kenny to win. But um, I really want to see Kenny get another shot. I know he's only had two, and most guys have none, and it'd be cool to see Gray go against Frankie. I get all that stuff, but I've always liked Kenny, so I'm going to go with Kenny. In the main, uh, main card that kicks off, you've got Marcus Davis and one of the Diaz brothers. And Nate doesn't have the punching power that his brother Nick does, but he's just as vicious and just as crazy, and Marcus has been sliding lately, so I'm going to pick Nate, round number two, TKO. Uh, even though he doesn't have the punching power, I think he's going to get it done. Um, and then just as the, um, we'll just call it the uh, crazy pick of the day, uh, Spike TV is going to have uh, Joe Lozon and Gabe Rudiger as one of the prelim bouts. I'm going to pick Joe Lozon as he is fired up and thinks Gabe is worthless as Gabe is trying to work his way back into the UFC, um, and I might agree with him. What do you think? Post them below. Let me know what you think. We'll check back tomorrow, and pray to God that Randy Couture is able to get this done so I can stop hearing about people talk about how boxing is superior to MMA. I understand this isn't the truest of tests, but if crazy James Tony finds a way to win tonight, uh, it certainly will be touted as the truest of tests. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Holla.